is the part where you need to get better, you need to get worse. This is the part where guys start crying about cardio. They start bitching about eating fish meals. They start complaining about wanting to have a cheat day. They start just moaning and groaning. But this is when I actually did. Start to kick ass and actually start having some fun. Uh, we're in an empty gym, man. What else could you want? Got my pictures on the wall and stuff. Got an awesome gym. Shout out to Dylan Armbrus for providing me a great place to come kill it. Uh, throughout most of this prep, I actually been, um, for the first part of it, I was actually traveling a lot and uh, doing stuff with my supplement brand and uh, also some other obligations. But um, <coughs> when you're getting ready for a show and you're traveling all the time, you're trying to do the business of bodybuilding, it's quite difficult because you realize that you're not at home. You're not eating the same food, sleeping in the same bed, having a routine, you know, with family, friends, stuff like that. And uh, traveling abroad, whether it be out of the country or even just in another city, it's very, very difficult. Sleep schedule's off. You know, a lot of guys are like, well, you know, I drive, you know, three hours to the gym and snap. So I salute you. But it's a little hard when, you know, guys like me, I've traveled over 220,000 miles this year already. But, uh, you know, I do it for you guys, not just for myself at this point, because let's face it, I mean, I've already won three Mr. Olympias. Um, I've, I've definitely had a great career so far, but I've got a lot of years left in this body, and, uh, and I'm really, really excited for the opportunity at hand. You know, a lot of guys were chirping about, you know, me starting my own brand and <clears throat> traveling and this and that. You know, I always hit them with the same question is, you know, why not strike the iron while it's hot? Why not believe in yourself and do things that you would probably do uh, once you retire or maybe you regret later on in life? And for me, I'm always thinking a step ahead and always trying to plan for my future. And it really, like I said, I mean, really right now it's just having fun. I mean, you know, I keep referring back to winning all these titles and stuff. I mean, what's going to motivate me right now is the fun that I have in the gym. You know, the fun I have meeting you guys to do these videos. I mean, let's face it, I mean, I can, you know, if God wanted me to be done with this, I mean, I'd be done and I still have what I have. But what, what really motivates me is you guys, your involvement, your engagement, you know, your positive reinforcement. Um, it's not just with me. It's, uh, you can root for her, whoever you want because essentially you're rooting for body I, I just am the guy that just wants everybody to be positive because I know the late Ben and Joe Weider, that's what they wanted. They wanted everybody, you know, to go after their goals and, and to try to achieve greatness in their own life. Um, you may not be Mr. Olympia. You may not even win your class for your next show. Does that mean that you failed? No, because you're better than where you started. And you have the willingness to learn and as long as you just make a decision that you want to get better, I promise you, you will. If you dedicate yourself in this day after day, year after year, you're, you're going to get better. And with what I get to do with these talks that I have, the seminars that I do around the world, is to try to bring perspective. Because I get to talk about the time management, the organization, the level of confidence you need to go after your dreams, to make them reality. You know, a lot of guys talk about like, they wish, they wish, they wish. Screw that, man, it's time to go get it. Let's go do it. I'm living it, and you can too, if you decide that this is what you want to do. Not just bodybuilding, but in life. I can take what I've learned in bodybuilding and transfer that into every other walk of life, and that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I've got gifted athletics, I've got, you know, gifted nutrition, I've got, you know, I've surrounded myself with great, intelligent people that have a high esteem for, you know, bringing forth, you know, excellence. And I encourage each and every one of you guys to surround yourself with people that are as good, if not better, than you in something. Because you're gonna learn a lot. We're all here to learn. That's why we're watching these videos, right? To compare and contrast between your different favorite bodybuilders. I know that's what I used to do. I used to open up the Flex magazine and say, I want shoulders like Kevin Grown, abs like Sean Ray, quads like, you know, Ronnie Coleman, back like Ronnie Coleman. Uh, you know, like, and, and combine them one on one, right? Stay, still stay, stay, stay somewhat symmetrical, you know, aesthetic, kind of like Flex Wheeler, but make it my own. You know, this is all about perspective. I don't care who you root for, man. Root for somebody. Make it your own. Watch these videos. Log on the flats. Let them know what you want to see. 
you want to see more videos of me, tell their ass. Tell them I'm here, training every day, obviously, having the time of my life kicking ass in these weights. You know, tell them. Tell me. Go on my Facebook. Go on the Gifted Nutrition website. Log on there too. Tell us what you want out of that. Tell us. That's the only way. That's the only way things get done now. We all know social media. Let's do it. I'm getting ready for the fight of my life again. You know, I'm going through you know a lot of new changes in life. It's awesome. You know, got got hit with you know some personal stuff this year. My dad passed away in March, but you know what? He lives on. You know, and I get to fulfill his legacy. You know, working my butt off every day, hoping that I win another stand up. And um, you know, uh, you know, a lot of guys, you know, they go through a lot of hardships and this and that. And I'm here to tell you, man, it's all about the journey. It's all about knowing that if you believe in yourself and you have the willingness to learn and you have the due diligence to educate yourself and to create a mindset that you would bet the house, the farm, everyone's money on yourself because you believe in yourself. That's what it's about. I cannot get ready for this Olympia and not bet the house and the farm, the cow, uh, everything on myself. So when you hear about me saying I want to win and I want to kick everybody's ass, it's because I believe. These guys, they're thinking the same thing. They're telling you, I'm going to kick Phil's ass. And you applaud it. And that's great. But for me, I have to believe in myself. I have to tell myself, I have to do it. I know they're here. But what can I ask of myself right now? And it's, can I go harder? Can I be smart? Can I not get in there? Can I be meticulous with my food? And all sorts of stuff. But overall, am I having fun? Am I still smiling? Am I still talking all the damn time? And, and maybe it's because of the pre-workout. I don't know. But I'm having the time of my life. Uh, thanks for watching, man. This is cool. Um, got another segment we're going to do outside. Um, it's for awesome charity. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. So, uh, until next time, man, it's the gift. Hopefully, four time, man. We're going for that, that Heath Peak. We're able to just say four now. We're going for the Heath Peak, man. And uh, it's because of people like you that are watching, that are logging on, on the, all the social feeds, encouraging me, encouraging bodybuilding fans around the world, getting each other hyped, man. I mean, NBC Sports is going to cover this. This is. What? That's crazy. No one thought that bodybuilding was ever going to be on a national stage like that again. People were saying it was dead. People still say it's dead. It's not, man. It's on NBC Sports. And I'm Mr. Olympia. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's going to be three times here at Harper's Pro Gym, home of where it gets, where it gets crazy here around this time of year. Uh, we're officially uh, five weeks out from the 2014 Mr. Olympia contest. And, uh, you know, things are getting really really crazy right now. I mean, a lot of guys are posting online all throughout the world and you know, all you fans, uh, thank you for all your support, uh, not just for myself, but for all these awesome, awesome athletes. Um, I wanted to make sure that we got a, a training segment in. We haven't done one in a little while and we haven't done any here at Armbrace. I know we've seen you travel and, and do workouts, you know, abroad and, you know, and whatnot, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see how it gets down here in my hometown of our of Weaver's Colorado. So, um, we're going to do some delts tonight and then uh, give you some of my thoughts, obviously. Um, you know, get ready, hopefully, for another uh, Mr. Olympia win. Uh, last year was great, but this year should be better with the 50th Mr. Olympia uh, contest. Uh, obviously, a lot of a lot of hype going into it, uh, a lot of pressure, obviously, um, a lot of changes. Uh, Starting my own supplement company and you know, on the cover of Flex this month, be sure to check that out. And, uh, you know, obviously I've got a lot of, a lot of people to thank. Um, but, um, you know, overall, it's been a really good experience. It's a really good run. Uh, injury free, which is great. Um, motivation, very, very high. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you get asked a question like, how do you think you're going to do? What do you think you're going to focus on? My major focus was just to be better. And it's like, well, like, what body parts and this and that. It's like, to get into my head, I mean, it's a little different. Because all I really ask myself is, can I get better at that? Usually the answer is yes. And then I divide that my, my diet and whatnot according to what me and my trainer, Honey Rambo, I kind of consult with. And we really just try to make sure that we keep things simple. A lot of people try to reinvent the wheel. And uh, that's probably why they maybe not come in the way that they want. But uh, my goal is to always um, train every day as an opportunity for greatness. Uh, 
not going against some of the best guys in the world. Obviously, I am going against the best guys in the world. And, uh, but I always have to remind myself that they're going against the best guy. A lot of people may think that that's hockey or whatever. I don't even know why you guys even say that. But at the end of the day, I'm here to train. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to kick ass. I'm here to improve. And they're here to give you guys some motivation. And you guys are in the gym. And so that you can actually see someone hitting their goals, and maybe that'll help you hit your goals too. Hey, I understand. You know, I came from a basketball background, and I had no idea I'd be Mr. Olympia that long three times. I think going on four. But, um, you know, all I want to do is just, uh, you know, get a little bit better each day, feel great in the gym, and I have a smile on my face, and, and have hope that I can come back and have more fun. And that's really what this is about, is to train hard, train smart, and obviously have fun. That's what we're going to do tonight. So, let's get it.